there is a great hunger for, uh, for, for imagery, and we're living in a visual, uh, vi uh, visual period with visuality and imagery all around us of all kinds of, of all kinds, uh, theater, uh, uh, social media, pictures, and so forth. But I think the thing that has excited me the most is to see students understand more deeply the fullness and richness of the Christian tradition. For all his recovery, Luther and Calvin, there was elements of the medieval tradition that were lost, that didn't need to be lost. And uh, in fact, I found in Calvin, at one point in the Institutes, that Calvin said, it could be that we need to give up certain things that are not wrong in themselves for a time. And I say, 500 years later, we're still there? So I think what's exciting is I see, for example, I teach Dante's Divine Comedy. Uh, I've taught uh, six or eight times, and PhD students, they're all ending up saying, well, I wanna write on, I wanna write on Dante, I gotta write. It changes, it changes their life, because this is such a, a monument of medieval culture that's been occluded by our Protestant imagination. I teach a course, uh, I've taught many times a course in Orvieto, Italy, where we do Protestant, uh, Catholic, medieval Catholic um, art and theology, where we deal with some of the major medieval, um, and invariably, in the second week of the class, the students come in and say, boy, we really lost a lot, didn't we? So seeing this richness, this recovery, and yet understanding the Reformation in the positive sense and not seeing that it's simply a whole disaster of iconoclasm, which I don't think it was,